Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for June 11th through the 18th. Now this is intended to be a love reading, but it seems as though a few of my readings haven't been so lovely. We're going to see what comes up, dear God, angels, spirits, and universe. We're looking for a love reading for Scorpio, please. Whatever comes up, comes up. We're going to get one of these and one of these. Um, if it flips over while I'm shuffling, you get to see it now. Otherwise, it will be revealed at the end. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This could have happened, could be happening now, could be happening in the future. Scorpio. What has Scorpio got coming in for love? What's going on in their love life? This is for the sign of Scorpio. Hoping for a real love reading. Somebody isn't acting with integrity. <laughs> Sorry. It started out like that, but that's what it is. Somebody isn't acting with integrity, whether it's you or another person. Somebody is... Um, <laughs> they haven't planned sufficiently, but somebody isn't... Um, they've, they're not really focused. I'm not sure what's going on here. We need to get some more cards. Okay, somebody is indecisive. Indecisive about wanting to be alone or not. Do I want to be alone or not? Do I want to be single? Or do I want to play games? <laughs> okay, all right. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot of, there's, there's delays here. There's delays in... Um, commitment for some reason there's definitely some kind of competition going on what the hell is this you could be dealing with an earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn um, Somebody is suffering, hurting, in pain over someone from their past. Okay, they are. I believe there's a karmic connection with another person. And you probably wanted a chance or they wanted a chance. Somebody wanted a chance and that chance isn't here. That chance isn't coming. It's not here. It's not here. Um, and now it feels as though someone um, is feeling like this can't be true. This can't be true because this connection is so real. It's so real. Um, it's interesting. It really is. Somebody is really being dishonest with themselves about... Um, realizing the truth of this situation, okay? They are. They, they don't want. They don't want to hear the truth. They don't want to believe the truth about this situation, okay? I have to tell you, these these cards are both karma cards. The Jessica's card and the Judgment card. They're both reversed, okay? So, 
You do have some karma here. Trust me, you do. And now it feels as though... There's a lot, there's, I don't want to believe that this, this isn't going to happen. I don't want to believe that this isn't meant to be, you know, and I'm going to continue to hold out and wait for this connection to come into play. And during this time, I'm just going to enjoy my singlehood while I wait, okay, while I wait for this to play out. And the fact of the matter is, is that... There's no progress being made in this direction um, with this person that isn't really focused on love. This person from your past. This person from your past that you're waiting to um, head in your direction is not um, coming. I do apologize. I mean, I'm sorry. I am. I feel as though many of you are going through a lot of, of struggles within yourself and letting this person go. And you've been delaying uh, moving on to another person, waiting for this person to give you a chance. And I don't feel like this person is going to give you a chance. And that hurts. It hurts. So I feel as though um, right now you're holding on to... Um, emotional turmoil, mental turmoil, because you think this person is, you know, the one. And I, I have to tell you that right now, it doesn't look like this person is going to come around. And I, and I think that, you know, you're not progressing, or they're not progressing. You're not progressing towards them, and they're not progressing towards you. I don't see any progress being made in this this connection that you are waiting for, you know, and I think that you're waiting for it graciously. You're working on yourself. You are enjoying the finer things in life. You're just being patient. You know, you're really waiting. You're just like, you know, I know this connection is meant to be and I know it's going to come. So I'm just going to enjoy my life as it is and it's eventually going to come. But I, but it, I, I don't see it as happening. This person from your past that you are waiting for. Um, I don't see it as happening. I feel like you're doing yourself an injustice by not um, letting go. Okay, you are. Um, you see the truth. I feel like you do. I feel like you see the truth about this person from the past, but you don't want to believe the truth. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's time to focus on your future. It's time to invest your energy elsewhere. I feel like there's been some stalking going on. You've probably been waiting for this, per watching this person, um, or they've been watching you, and you've really been, like I said, patient. You've been patiently waiting for this person. You've been watching them, or they've been watching. I think you've been watching them, and, you know, nothing is actually changing. You know, I feel like at this point, you know, it's really time for you to, to realize your goals. I mean... It, and that's, you know, you're, you're feeling like in the future this is going to happen. But is that true? I mean, are you really clear that this is really going to happen? Um, I feel as though um, right now things are out of balance. There's no harmony. There's This is extreme as well. Um, It's unrealistic, unfortunately. I feel like it's unrealistic, and I feel like you you really need to find that confidence and that courage and that willpower to find hope in the future elsewhere. I mean, there's hope for the future elsewhere. I think that your future wish fulfillment probably lies with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I do. But I feel like right now, right now your, la your life lacks peace and harmony because you're waiting for some kind of communication from another person that isn't communicating and it's causing some conflicts in your mind and in your life, you know, you, I think that you're conflicted about letting go of this person that was a karmic connection, okay, there was a karmic connection with probably an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, that you need to 
completely let go of and you're having a hard time letting go of them but I feel like you are your your hopes and your future lies with a fire sign Aries Leo Sagittarius but right now things are not harmonious and they're not peaceful and they're not at ease because you're still invested in this in this earth sign so I feel like this is a week of finding hope in the future you need to really focus on the future with this other person which I think is a fire sign instead of communicating or wanting to communicate or or whatever with this earth sign this earth sign is um bringing conflicts and power struggles to your life okay but it feels as though there is a, it's a time for you to heal you it's time for you to let yourself heal and only focus on the future with this new person that is very vibrant exciting beautiful confident and courageous but i feel like there's some sort of hurt maybe this this earth sign is hurting this other person by stalking you i don't know what the case is but there is a person that is hindering your future wish fulfillment okay by i don't know what this is but that's what it is some and it's it's really causing some upsets in your life this other person um yeah, it is. I feel like there's an opportunity for love here with a fire sign, a Scorpio. There is an opportunity for a beautiful union, togetherness, um, collaboration, you know, uh, teamwork with this person if you could get out of your head about this earth sign. Okay, you need to... Um, oh, son of a bitch. Okay, I love you. I love God. I really do. I'm just, I know that there is an earth sign that is holding you back from from wish fulfillment and happiness. There is. There is. And I feel like this person just will is is really hindering your progress, your um happiness, your harmony, your peace with this other person. You need to you need to cut this out of your life. You do. You do. You do. You need to cut them out. Even if it's harsh, you need to get this person out of your thoughts. You need to drop it. You need to you need to cut the cords and I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but that's what needs to happen. It feels as though um, you've been in no rush to, let, to cut this person out of your life because you've been trying to work with them, but this person is hindering your, your future uh, partnerships, okay? For you to find wish fulfillment, probably with this fire sign, you're going to have to cut somebody out of your thoughts, okay, and of your life, okay? You're probably going to have to block them, okay? You're going to have to block this person so that you can move on towards happiness with this fire sign. You're dealing with somebody who is very um, possessive, jealous, and stubborn, and they don't want to let you go, and they're causing a lot of depression and anxiety and problems in your your future um partnership so I feel like there's somebody that needs to be cut out so that you can progress and have happiness and wish fulfillment with probably a fire sign and that that fire sign is um sun moon or rising but I feel like right now you're dealing with some animosity from this person and it is hindering your or you're in or you're just you can't let them go there's some sort of mental turmoil over this earth sign that is hindering your your progress okay you need to cut them out you need to block them so that you can move on and have the wish fulfillment and the happiness that you deserve okay um yeah there's a lack of love here there's it's like do you do you you have to make a choice scorpio which one do you want do you want the earth sign or do you want the fire sign what's it going to be you know, you can't you can't have your cake and eat it too. And if you're still thinking about the, this earth sign, you're only hurting the fire sign. The fire sign, or whoever this other person is, is is probably falling out of love. Somebody is falling out of love, or they're not offering love, or or you're not. Or this person isn't really in love with you. The the earth sign. This is confusing. I know, but this is confusing. Many of you are probably, you have to make a decision. You may be thinking about going back to this earth sign. There's definitely a decision and you have to make a choice between two people. There is, there is. One of them is um, love and one of them is not. Okay, and I'm not sure which one it is. 
but it feels as though somebody you have to make a decision you do the twos are choices decisions okay and you got two of them right here in regards to which what what's going to make you happy somebody is really hurt really hurt that you know they are even part of this situation you know they are really hurt they're they're not feeling emotionally content at all they're feeling unloved and um it's causing a lot of um unhappiness for everybody involved for all three of you all three of you are going through some emotional turmoil right now you have, this card right here is you have to make a decision it is it's two paths decisions options you know you may have thought the grass was greener on the other side and it really wasn't i mean that's what it is and it feels like um you have to decide whether you're going to leave or not. I mean, that's what this is. Do you stay or do you go? Which one do you love? I mean, that's what it is. It feels like you, you, you're feeling a lack of contentment because you have to make this decision. You're going, you can't have your cake and eat it too. If you're thinking about one person, you're going to have to cut the cords. You're going to have to cut the cords so that you can move on with another one. So I'm not sure what it is, but I believe that you are have to make a decision this week into which one of these is your soulmate. Yeah, yeah. And it feels like somebody is feeling really hurt over being a part of this situation. And they've caused you a lot of worry because you can't get them off of your mind. You can't. There's a lot of um, power struggles here and competition. I think there's two, two people that are on your mind in your heart and you don't know what to do and you're really you know this card says you're thinking about walking away you're thinking about turning your back you're thinking about ending a something um you know so which one is it going to be it's a third party situation it is there is a third party situation here and you i mean you absolutely have to make a choice two 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 twos are about choices they're about changes you have to make a choice what is it going to be are you going to continue to hang on to this earth sign are you going to move forward with the fire sign are you going to let go of the fire sign so that you can go back with the earth sign what is it going to be what is it going to be there's somebody from your past that is haunting you okay there is there's somebody from your past that is haunting you and you know, you have to make a decision. You do. You do. So I think this is a week of making a decision into, into, in regards, into, in regards to who is your soulmate. It's decision making time. Two, 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 choices, changes, decisions. You have to make a decision. You have a choice between two people. That's what it looks like to me. Um, it doesn't have to be a fire sign, um, sun. It could be fire, um, sun, moon, or rising, or Venus. You could be dealing with a water sign as well. Um, but I do feel as though it is time to make a decision as to who that you want to be together with. Who do you want to be together with, Scorpio? choices <laughs> that card fell out I wasn't gonna pull it but it fell off the deck you are you have to make a choice be prepared to, this is a card of consequences be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice what you own owns you are you living in an illusion you do have to make a choice like I said this is a card of choices as well you can't escape reality forever okay What you own owns you. Be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice. Which one of these people do you love? Which one of these people loves you? Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Union. This is about a union. It absolutely is. There's an opportunity 
for true love here. There is. But you have to make a choice. What's it going to be? There's somebody from your past that you can't get out of your mind. And if you can't get them out of your mind, it's not fair to live an illusion and hurt somebody else in the process. Just that came to mind. If you want to give this past person a chance, do it. Don't hurt people in the process. Not saying you are. I'm, this is what's coming out of my mouth. There's an opportunity for a reconciliation there is with someone from your past. There's also opportunity for a new connection to blossom. But you have to be decisive. You have to make a decision. One of them has to be cut out. One of them has to be blocked. And if you can't do that, then you're going to continue to struggle I feel as though there's a competition between two people for your heart whether they're competing for you or you're they're in your heart and you you don't know what to do give the one that you love a chance But whichever one you choose, the other one needs to be blocked. Talk to you later.